Chicago. The dog attack on a jogger sparks a new debate tonight. NBC 5's Dick Johnson has more. Unlike the animals exercising in this dog park tonight, the two pit bulls in the attack came out of nowhere before dawn here in Rainbow Beach Park, unrestrained, unlicensed, and mercilessly biting and gnawing at jogger Joe Finley as he screamed for help. The story has prompted Alderman Bob Fioretti to call for a new look at the city's dog laws, dog parks, and even a ban on pit bulls. The victim's grateful brother is among the first advocates for some kind of change. These two dogs almost killed my brother. If it wasn't for the bravery of Stanley Lee, they tried to beat the dogs off of him, and the police got there in a very quick amount of time to actually shoot the dogs to save my brother's life. I know a number of calls that we received in the last 24 hours all said ban pit bulls. What do you uh, say? Well, I'm not sure yet. The Alderman is convinced a review should take place to possibly strengthen the sanctions against irresponsible dog owners. Bella is part pit bull. Her owner and every other here at this dog park disagree with an outright breed ban. It's not the breed. It's the person that raises the dog, the way they train them. In this instance, I don't know if the dogs had any other issues with people, but they certainly shouldn't be roaming free ever. The owner of the two pit bulls in the Rainbow Beach attack must pay several hundred dollars in fines, but did not receive jail time. His defense is the dogs escaped by accident through an open gate. Allison, the Alderman's resolution for a new look at the dog laws will be introduced January 18th. All right, keep us posted. Thank you, Dick. Tonight, the father of a Highland Park teenager talks about his daughter's ordeal. The 